Hello everyone, long time no see. I hope that you have been doing well. If you saw my community post I posted a couple weeks back, uh, you may have seen that I had mentioned that I was taking a little bit of a break. I have just been feeling a little bit down about life and just with things in general. I am doing a little bit better. We're getting, we're getting back up on the horse. And I thought maybe a good way to slowly reintroduce myself is to have a little bit of a collective haul. I don't normally do collective hauls because I don't usually receive a lot of mail all at once, so it's hard to kind of collect things to do a collective haul. And also I'm very impatient with opening mail. I love to just open it the second I get home from work because it's a nice stress reliever. But I was gone for a few days visiting my parents and when I came back I had an abundance of letters and these two mysterious packages that I was not quite sure what they were. <laughs> because I have so much mail I thought this would be a fun little collective haul that we could open and see my new cards that I've got and to just to chit chat a little bit and also because like I said I want to slowly reintroduce posting on this channel because I have really missed it. Let's start with the letters and then we can get into the mysterious packages. I guess I can disclose what they are, they're not too mysterious. But these are actually my Chocolate Factory fan meeting merch. Um, it's the both the regular hashtag love stay and then the skazoo stuff. I am honestly so surprised that these are here in front of me because both of the order status says that they are still in Korea. So I didn't even get a tracking for either of them. They just are here and showed up. So I can, you can imagine my surprise when I opened the box and realized what they were because I was still waiting on the tracking number from Soundwave. <laughs> so let's start with the letters and then we can go through all the fun fan meeting merch stuff. Okay, so let's start off with this one. I, as you can see, I started to open this one and I was like, wait, maybe this would be fun to just open them for a video. So I stopped myself before I could look in the letter. But first of all, can we just take, can we just appreciate this sticker? I don't know who this is. If you know which idol this is or what group he belongs to, please let me know. But this image is <laughs> so so funny i love like k-pop meme reaction images i think that they are so so funny i almost just turned that around and i think i did and like totally outed myself but so this should be yes so i bought um some target cards off of this person and I'm actually, as I'm gonna go along, um, I'm just gonna set uh, things up and then just screenshot for proof later. So it'll make life a little bit easier, but we have some goodies. This is 17 and I'm not sure who this group is and it doesn't say, but this is for sure 17. And oh, look at their cute little note. That is a very, very cute little note. But yeah, so these are Chan and Sungmin's Target cards. I actually, I think if you remember from my setting up video, I was a little bit nervous about collecting all of the Target cards, but I actually, these are the only two that I bought and then I actually traded for the other ones that I needed, which was super, super nice. And these were not expensive from this person whatsoever so I really didn't have anything to worry about thankfully but yeah so there's Chan and Sungmin's Target cards. Next I think these are some Go Claims if I'm not mistaken. Setting it up for proof but yeah so these were some with drama claims with drama always has the prettiest cards but their shipping is just outrageous and so it's kind of hard to get your hands on these but thankfully i found these 
I have Lino and Hyunjin, which is so exciting. And then I also have Chan's um, claimed in a different uh, go. And then I really want Sungmin's. And then I think I'll be pretty much happy with those four members. But these were so pretty. With Drama has like the prettiest hollow effect for cards. And these two are just so, so cute. Uh, Chan and Sungmin's are also really, really nice. So yay, I'm very happy to have these with Drama Pobs. I don't remember what this is. Oh yes, so <laughs> this is a trade. I feel like I have to explain this a little bit. Let me just take this off so I can send proof. So I still have a bunch of ordinary cards up for sale on my Instagram and there were some people who had claimed, or not claimed, but they had DM'd me asking to buy this Hyungsung unit and I accidentally <laughs> sold way too many um, than like what I had. I thought I had one more uh, available and I didn't and so <laughs> I ended up just giving the person my um, unit and then I just found someone who needed a card that I had and just retreated for it so <laughs> I can have this unit back but yeah I just basically long story short I accidentally sold this when uh, I shouldn't have. <laughs> Yes, it's nice to have that back. I can add that back to my own personal collection. And then there are some cute little freebies that got sent to... Oh, this is a really nice freebie. This one's nice and cute. Okay, next we have this one. We have another <laughs> cute idol sticker. I do know these two. It's Subin and Bumgu from TXT that... Them, I do know. <laughs> so, I these are really cute. I kind of, every time I get one, um, I'm like, I should do one of those myself. But I always forget to. But I really like uh, when people have like custom packaging and stickers and stuff. Okay, so this is Chan's Sub K uh, Jewel Case video call benefit uh i decided not to buy any of the video call jewel cases myself because i had already bought eight of them <laughs> and i didn't want any more so i just joined um i think i didn't join a go i think that someone was just selling additionals that they had so i bought some of their extra reclaims Got Chan's, of course. I really want Felix's. Felix's is very, very cute, but a little bit low priority, but I wanted to make sure to get Chan's. So here is his card. Very, very nice. I'm always so surprised at how thin <laughs> Sub K's um, photo cards are. I don't really understand why they're so, so thin. I wish they were thicker, but I will say I absolutely love the back of this. I think this is my favorite back design of the Pobs and Benefit photo cards. It just is really, it's really nice. Like they actually felt, it feels like it's actually designed as <laughs> compared to some other stores, but yes. So there's Chan's Sub K card. Next, I'm probably going to have to blur this package a little bit because there's customs and addresses all over it. But I am actually very surprised to even see this package. <laughs> it was, it's been lost for a long, long time. I've been waiting like two months for this to arrive. And the seller I bought this from actually like deactivated. So... I didn't think I got scammed. I was just like, I think that the items are lost and I didn't know how to contact the seller. But thankfully, 
they just showed up. <laughs> they showed up. And I'm actually so, so excited for these. I didn't think that I was going to ever own this set, but I saw it uh, for, on the seller's page and I was like, why not? But these are the No Easy With Drama Pobs. Ah, they are so, so, so pretty. Like I said, I like I said when I was unboxing these, with drama is such a pain to get. It can be so expensive when you buy from them directly and also finding resale of with drama is just equally as expensive because they just charge so much for shipping. But I, I remember when this set came out, I was like, oh, it's so pretty. I really want it, but I didn't ever think I would get it. But I actually, like I said, I ended up finding this on a seller's page and it wasn't, wasn't too, too much. And I was like, if I don't get this now, I'll probably never own it. So I just pulled the trigger and <laughs> then was nervous for two months because it seemingly seemed like the package was lost, but we're all good. It is here now. So, yay! And like I said, I'm so sad because I don't know what happened to the seller, but they no longer have their account on Instagram anymore. Okay, I just quickly put them all in order, but wow, I'm so excited. These are so, so pretty. So that's what the back looks like. Pretty, pretty simple, pretty plain, but it's all right. Oh, this Lino, his little like hanger, like pout, it's so, so cute. This is when they did like the um, like song camp, uh, like showcase, I guess, when they were showing the members like their unit songs they made. Oh my gosh, this Han Ji song photo card is so cute. It's so cute. Ah, I love these photos. These are some of like the top tier Stray Kids photo cards and just photos. Wow. So there's that. Another pop set to add to my collection. So fun. Okay, lastly for the letters, again another package I'll probably have to blur because there's addresses all over it. Okay, this has a little bit of an interesting story. So I originally, oh here wait hold on, let's get a thumbnail or a proof. Originally I had purchased an OT8 Aladdin pop set um, for Ordinary from this seller. But unfortunately, Aladdin, for some reason, didn't do OT8 sets this time around. Like their distribution for POBs was random. Um, and so when I found that out, I had messaged the seller being like, uh, hey, like, do you know if the Aladdin set that I had bought from you is going to be OT8? And they said they were still waiting on the package to arrive to them, but they weren't sure. But they had seen that like Aladdin wasn't giving out full sets um, of the photo cards. So we decided that we were going to wait to see until the albums and pops had arrived to them to make a decision. And then when they did, it was a very uneven distribution of um, cards and members. So we worked out a deal where I picked a different POB set that they were gonna send me since uh, what I ordered from them wasn't gonna be what I actually ordered. So I ended up picking the Hot Tracks POB set instead. 
Um, but I'm actually only going to keep chans of this and then just resell the other ones because I actually did find an OTA Aladdin set on Macari. So it all worked out in the end. It was kind of like a long-winded story of what happened, <laughs> but that's why I have this set and I'll go through and show you all the members cards, but I am only going to be keeping chans and selling the rest of the members as much as i would love to keep the rest of the members i just need to uh, make some of that money back because i was only intending on buying one additional pop set outside of what i already bought from my own albums so long-winded story anyway let's see i don't think that these are in order i actually really really like these pops if i didn't need the extra cash, <laughs> I would totally keep them because I think that they are so cool and so like dynamic because it's from like the music video set and everything just looks kind of crazy. But like I, I love this Chan photo. It just is so different and so cool. Same with the rest of the members too. Like their backdrop, their backgrounds are all very, very cool. So I'm a little bit sad to see the rest of the members go, but I do like the Aladdin set a little bit better and that's the one I wanted to begin with. So it's okay. I will cherish these while I have them still. <laughs> but yes, very, very fun, very cool. I'll just lay them out. mixed up Hyunjin and Han. So there we go. All right, so those were all of the letters and then we can move on to the packages next. I actually forgot before we move on to the chocolate factory package, I also got this package. <laughs> I, I can't believe how much mail I got in, in just a few days that I was away. But let's also open this and look at it really quick. As you can see, it is the First Look magazine. Yay! Normally I'm not one for magazines, especially like the First Look one. And also um, like this is in the same format as the Kingdom magazine. They are just so incredibly huge and massive so i'm not normally one for magazines like this but i love this concept and they look so so pretty so let's quickly look through this really quick i'm not sure how much of the kids are in here but yes i i just this just feels like such a cute like nice family picture so i wanted to get it. I'm not really sure how I'm going to store it. I don't even really store my Kingdom <laughs> magazine because it's just so incredibly massive. It just kind of sits on my TV stand. <laughs> but, oh wow, I love these photos. They're just so pretty. This almost makes me want to like tear these out and like frame them because they would just look so nice like on your wall framed, truly. Oh, eee. They're, they look so good. They are so, so, so handsome. Wow. Cute. And then if I could read Korean, I assume this is like a little interview that they did. I'm sure there's translations of it, like on Twitter and stuff, but I think that might have been it. Yes, so that was their whole little spread. Very, very cute. So pretty. So, all right. I just wanted to look at that really, really quick. And now let's move on to the chocolate factory goods. But I mostly got the cheap <laughs> items, mostly so I could just have the POB photo cards. 
Okay, so for this kazoo stuff, I got uh, one of the pouches, two of the pens, all of the air fresheners, which are kind of like an interesting, an interesting thing to make, but I don't know. They're kind of fun. And then the sticker set. So let's go through these really quick. Oh yes, and then of course the pops are here. But let's start off with the little pouch. So this is actually way, way bigger than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be similarly sized to the pouch that they released like a year ago when they first did like the first fan meeting. But this is like way bigger. I can't find my other wolf chan at the moment, but I do have puppy M, but just for size comparison. <laughs> so you can see that this year is just so much bigger. It's fun though. It's a little bit different too, but this is like so, so soft. Like it just feels, it feels really, really nice. It feels really good. And then, oh, just a nice little embroidered tag on the back. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this. Like I didn't really use this either from last year, but I thought it was just, I thought it was cute. I do think it's a little interesting that like they did the eyes a little bit different. Like it's not their normal eyes. Like this just feels a little bit more like cartoony, but it's an interesting, just like different stylistic choice. But yeah, this is cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but <laughs> I got it anyway. It's just I can't get over like how soft it feels. It's really really nice and soft. And then I got two of the pens. I got Puppy M and Wolf Chan. You can just take these out and look at them. I got the pens from... I got the pens last year too for the um detective theme and they actually are really nice like these are really nice like gel pens so I got all eight of them last year and I was like I don't need that many this year so I just got two of them I think of the Skazoo characters Puppy M, Quokka, Leebit, and Wolf Chan are like my favorites I think Puppy M is like my favorite though i just think that character is so so cute and so reminiscent of sungmin as well but so there's those should we i could actually should we do a quick um test to show how well they write just wanted to show you like how how well they write I don't have the best handwriting, but you can kind of get like an idea. It's just the ink flows really, really nicely. So I've also been using the memo pad from the season's greetings a lot. Like as you can see, this first um, style is practically gone. I didn't think I would be using these, but I've been using these a ton for trades and sales. It's just been fun. Yeah, so those are the pens the branding of everything like all the branding for this stuff is adorable like it's so so cute next up let's look at the sticker set i love that it comes in these like cute little like reusable bags the ones last year did as well but let's see oh my gosh we might, I was going to maybe try and sort these, but it might be good to just kind of, just uh, throw them all out. I'll just lay them all out. Okay, here is everyone's stickers all laid out. They're super, super cute. I really like this little logo one. It's very nice. But yeah, there's just all the Skazoo characters in like face, body, and then like their accessories and items that they have. I think Felix's is the cutest, like the little the little lollipops. Sungmin's is a bit confusing. His is like an outlier to like the rest of everyone else's, but still fun. 
cute 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 i don't really know what to do with these i'll probably put them in my binder that's what i did with the ones from last year but i wish i was one of those people who like actually like to use like stationery and sticker stuff that um like these groups merch release that wasn't a sentence i wish i used the stickers and stuff that were re were released with merch like for events like this but i have a hard time it's the collector in me not wanting to <laughs> ruin anything i guess okay and then the air fresheners i don't know what's the best way to go about this i don't know I'm not sure if they're like scent, like if every member has a different scent or not. I guess we can see. Also, I don't know what I'm doing with these either. <laughs> this is sort of like a weird, uh, weird and different item. They're actually also a lot bigger than I had anticipated. Oh, you can kind of, you can kind of smell it through the packaging it just sort of smells like like clean laundry it's not like my favorite scent but like it's okay it's cute i don't know if i really want to take these out of the plastic i don't want to be overwhelmed with the smell so let me just see if like lee bits smells different or not oh i think they all are different it also smells like clean laundry, but it has more of like a sweeter scent to it. Like a little bit more like candied, candy scent. Am I gonna, I wasn't gonna go through all of these, but maybe I should. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe they are all just the same scent though. I can't smell Dweckies at all. That doesn't smell like anything. I also can't smell puppy ends. Well, I'm just going to, <laughs> I'm just gonna assume that they all smell the same. And I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing with these. So I don't wanna open up the plastic. For one, because I don't need to inhale <laughs> eight different air fresheners at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, this is an interesting, merch choice and an even interesting choice on my behalf to actually purchase all of them <laughs> sometimes you know you just buy things because they seem like a good idea and then when they get here you're like what am i actually supposed to do with this <laughs> but we can look through the little pocket window hands leave it Dwucky. Puppy M, Han Quokka, Foxy Ian, or Foxy Any, Jin Red, and Bokari. So cute. They're very, that's the same look as the stickers. I lost them for a second, but I found them. We can look at the palms. So I got a full set of these because I ordered 16 things. I had ordered a couple extra sticker sets, so that's why I had a full set. But I've seen these um, on Twitter already, but they are very, very cute. I can't get over Chan in this look. This is, uh, it's such a good, it's such a good look. Let's just quickly go through all of these. So each member has two Polaroids from the Skazoo set. All pretty matchy-matchy, which is nice. <laughs> I think Hans is my favorite. I love the little, like, candies that he's posing with. <laughs> also, he just looks like a bellhop. This is just, it's a bellhop look. <laughs> Felix's is also cute. Very cute. So those are all of those pop sets. Okay, now let's look at the just Chocolate Factory merch stuff. Okay, so I got a few more things from just the Chocolate Factory merch stuff because there were a couple more pops 
for this than this kazoo one. But let's look at the bigger stuff first. So let's first start with this poster, which, oh my gosh, Jenny, you are beautiful. I, I know that there is a second poster behind this, but I really don't want to take it out of the plastic right now because I don't really know how I'm storing this. So I apologize for now. I'm just going to leave this in here, but this is a glorious image to see. Like, oh, it's a very, very nice. This is, this feels a bit illegal, sir. You're looking too, too good. But yes, so I have Chan's poster set. Like I said, there's a second one but I don't want to open these up just yet, but yes. So there's Chan's poster. They did do the box tape once again this year. I guess it's a good way to like get the pops for cheap because you can just order a million of the box tapes and then <laughs> you'll get a pop with it, but then you just end up with a million tapes. But, th and that's what I did. I had, I ordered like five of these, but, this is what the tape looks like. It just has the logo and then Stray Kids everywhere all around the world. You make Stray Kids stay. So this is kind of nice, like if you send out a lot of packages, but yeah. I still have so much of the box tape from last year. But like I said, it's a good way to get the pobs really easy because this is like, what, three, five bucks? three five dollars and everyone comes with a pop but so yeah that is the box tape okay next let's look at this smaller stuff and isn't this just like the cutest packaging it just it it just looks like a chocolate bar and goodie bars which is i know like the theme that they're going for but they like executed it so so well so this is the photo id set was everyone so very very cute i know a lot of people don't like id pictures it's kind of hard to store them i agree but i don't know i think they're like they're like fun to have they're like little snapshots in time of like eras and stuff Cute, cute, cute. So that was the little idea set. And then similarly, there's also the golden ticket or special photo ticket set. <laughs> and these look just like the little golden tickets from like Willy Wonka. Like it has the, the gold on the back, but there's the front and then the back side has their signature and then the little like trinket tool that they're associated with. I don't really know. <laughs> I kind of miss Lino's purple hair. I mean, I guess it's still kind of, it's like blue, like a bluish black right now, but I really liked the purple on him. It suited him well. There's Chong Bands. Changbin has the cutest signature. It's so precious. Yeah, Jin's. <laughs> I will forever laugh at Bellhop Han. <laughs> it's so cute. Last one, Iron. Oh, Iron looks so cute here. I also love his like little tinsel highlights. Very, very precious. So yes, that was the ticket set. I put these upside down a little bit. <laughs> and then I got their little like file folder thingies so id and profile postcard file set apparently 
So I got all of these. So these are nice because it does kind of come with like a photo card. It's like a little ID. Ooh, and this is actually, this is like actually pretty nice compared to last year's. This is like actual, like a like little plastic ID. That's really cute. That's so cute. Position manager. Oh, oh, they all say what they are. Cool. So now we can actually see <laughs> what position they have. Cute. Yes, let's look at the postcards as well. Oh, these are, this is interesting. Last year, they were all like about this size. Like there was three of them that were about the size, but it looks like you just get one big one and then two tiny ones this year. So here's his staff profile. <laughs> Motto is just enjoy. Words that describe Chan. Sweet, determined, soft, fresh, etc. <laughs> so he checks all box. Favorite dessert is chocolate. Cute. Well, this is a cute idea. And we can look at the postcards. Very nice. Ooh. This is a nice picture. Wow. Those are so cute. So, so cute. I also think it's like a nice touch, like if you get all of them, that like the little tabs actually match up with each other. It's kind of a nice little touch. Okay, so here is Lino's card. I'm not gonna take it out of here because I feel like you can see it, but his position was engineer. I guess that makes sense, that makes sense. Pull out his stuff. And then his postcards. I love the theme. I think this theme is so cute. I love when they do soft, cute themes because they don't do them very, very often. All right, Changbin, he is the delivery man. Ooh, fun. Here's Changbin's profile. Oh, I love his little, I think that's like a little Dweki. <laughs> And the postcards. Ooh, I really like the the shots that they chose for the postcards. They look very, very nice. Hyunjin was the chocolatier. <laughs> His profile. And the pictures. Ooh, wow. So nice. These are so, so pretty. I'll never get over these. They're so pretty. Okay, Han was the cashier. <sighs> cashier. I still think he's like a bellhop. I don't know for what, what kind of bellhop I'm for, but cashier. Cashier for what? <laughs> Ice Americano. And here's his. Oh, what does it say? Yeah, the notepad says skiz 100 box to stay and then something in Korean. <laughs> I guess we're ordering a hundred boxes of chocolate. Whoa, cute. <laughs> so cute. Little cheeky. Cheeky there, Han. Felix. Felix was the chocolate taster. <laughs> that makes a little bit of sense. I'm surprised he's not like the chocolatier, you know, because of his brownies and stuff. Oh, his interests are stay. That's so cute. So, so cute. And here's his postcards. Ooh, very, very nice. Okay, Sungmin is the recipe maker. 
cute. I actually kind of like these like staff profiles because you can see like, I don't know, you can see like how their handwriting looks and what they would answer for things. Ooh, is he recipe making? <laughs> can you smell it, Sungmin? Is the chocolate strong enough? Cute. I love these pink outfits. All the pink outfits on them are so, so pretty. All right, last but not least is Ayan. And then Ayan's position was the packer. The packer of the goods. His little, his little bread. Oh, that's such an adorable picture too. Cute. Oh my gosh, that present is huge. This is such a big present. Oh, those were so cute. I loved those. So and that was all of the profile set. Okay, so I have all 24 of the pogs. So we get to see all of the members, Polaroids. Also, I think the design that they chose for the Polaroids are so, so cute. And uh, unlike last year where the like regular merch Polaroids and then the Skazoo Polaroids, like we don't have the Skazoo suits, like these are pretty much the same. So we can look through all of these. Equally, equally as cute. <laughs> I almost, I kind of wish that like, I understand that these were originally taken with a Polaroid. That's why the background is a bit like dark and blown out. I wish it was just like a little bit brighter. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> like little swan or something. Han Han never fails to crack me up. He he's like he's one of the funniest. Him and Sungmin are some of the funniest members. Oh, Sungmin's. I always love when Sungmin does like the little flower pose. So cute. Okay, so that was all of them. Yay! And that was all the mail that I had for today as well. I think that's gonna be it for my little collective haul. I can't believe how much mail I had to open, but yes, like I said, hopefully this will be a nice little video to introduce me to doing some regular uploads again. I do have some ideas now of what I can post next, so hopefully that those will be coming very, very soon. I hope that you're doing okay. I missed you a lot. Like I said, I, I've been gone on YouTube, but I was still pretty active on my socials. So if you miss me <laughs> and if you want to catch up with me, you can go follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm a lot more active on Instagram than I am Twitter. I usually lurk around Twitter, whereas on Instagram, I'm posting and talking to you guys a lot more. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having a really great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!